hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very nifty little tool for powershell and windows where you can play around with olama based local models this powershell codex which is also called as um, posh codex is simply a powershell based plugin that enables you to plug and play any ai code completion model in the command line to improve efficiency it reduces errors and optimizes your workflow so i'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally and then how you can play around with it by the way it is totally completely free as it can be used with any open source model from olama if you don't know what olama is please go to my channel and then search it with olama and you should be able to find heaps of videos on my channel around olama so let me show you how can you quickly search it with it just click on the search button and type olama and there are more than 500 videos on olama its installation is very simple all you need to do is to click on this download button and then just download this exe for window and next 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 once you have downloaded it you can simply run it from your local system something like this just to olama list and you can see that i already have one model downloaded olama is running now let me take you back and let's get this thing installed and then we will see how it works before that let me introduce you to the sponsors of video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale it works on any page whether public or private it is resilient it is reusable and it structures output according to the shape of your query let's go back to this posh codex and let me launch my powershell so i'm just going to click on bottom left here type powershell right click run as administrator and that is going to launch the powershell for us so you see that now powershell is launched it is running in my conda environment which is a virtual environment so i'm just going to deactivate it and then let's clear the screen okay so our olama is running which is great let's install this posh codex as a power uh, powershell module and the similar command where we say install module name posh, posh codex dash force it is going to update it if it is already there so let's wait for it to get installed shouldn't take too long and as it requires a nuget provider so let's press y here and then let's wait for it to get the nuget installed and it has installed our posh cortex you can check it out with the get module command okay so if this doesn't show just close your power fill power powershell window and relaunch it so i'm just going to close it and then again i'm just going to say run as an administrator and you can see that now our module is installed in the powershell gallery next up with the help of olama let's pull this base model if you like or you can pull any model of your choice the model size is just under 4 gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded on our local system so this is a typical olama which is downloading the model in a quantized format then it is going to verify the checksum of the model and then we can use it on our local system so it is almost there And you can see that now it is verifying the checksum it shouldn't take too long and the model is downloaded so if i do olama list here you should see your posh codex model here okay let's clear the screen and let's see how it works so this is my powershell window it is powershell 7 i guess in this one first let's import this module the posh codex that is done next up uh, you can set the completion key bind or the key which will trigger this plugin by default it uses i think shift control capital o um, or something like that i guess control shift o control plus shift plus capital o but if you want to change it then press enter after this and then maybe i'll just go with uh, tab here so our key bind set is tab and what it means is that for example if you on the powershell prompt you say something like this that print hello to the console i'm just going to remove this hash so this is a command i want to run so 
So after the console, just press tab here once and that is going to trigger your uh, plugin and it takes bit of a time. There you go, see, so this is the command it has generated, right? Output hello world and then it has printed the hello world here. And this is because I think I was just, uh, because it's not in the double quotes, I guess, or something like that. Anyway, so similarly, you can say something else here, like I just did, or you could just print here. Let's clear the screen. And there are a lot of things which you can do it. For example, you can control your whole Windows system with it. So for example, if you want to see the top five processes by CPU, you can do something like list top five processes by cpu so you see it so i just pressed enter instead of that our key was tab so i have pressed tab here let's see and it takes a bit of a time so what is happening behind the scene it is using that olama model to convert this natural language into the command i think powershell command and it has generated the top five processes from here pretty good so let's clear the screen and then I just ran this interesting test where I'm asking it that if there are any errors in my system event log, it is saying that as an AI, I don't have the ability to directly access your system or view event logs. Okay, so when it cannot do something, all it does is it just simply gives you the PowerShell command, which is I think not a bad option. So for example, if I just say it here, um, maybe I'll just say, how many instances of Chrome are running on my system? And then let's press tab. So the interesting bit is it, it says that it cannot access directly my system. So maybe it means that system logs because it is accessing my system. I'm running it on there. And it is a bit slow. I'm not sure why. Maybe it is due to the model. I have around 16 GB of VRAM, but I think it is not using the VRAM at the moment. It is using the CPU because I don't see anything happening on my GPU at the moment, which is pretty interesting. And again, you see that instead of giving me the results back or the stuff which it cannot do, it just simply returns a PowerShell uh, command. So I would say, Pretty interesting too, lot of room for improvement at the moment, but very, very early days. I think it is still very basic and a lot of things can be done. For example, it can stream the output or maybe inline completion can be improved. Also, it will be really good to um, switch to chat API instead of just generate because then we would be able to get some uh, background or context from the previous messages and it will be good to chat with the system with the help of this. Uh, PowerShell plugin but all in all really good use of AI for some real use case really like it I will drop the link to it in video description and then you can share your opinion there if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching